Association for the Chief Georgia River.
on the move for his Lord, in 1991, he launched Calabari for Christ, an evangelistic outreach program to all villages of the Calabari Kingdom. So far, the mission field under this ministry has covered Minama, Emekoma, Angalama, Kei, and more recently, taking over the Python possessed village of Kula for Christ. God has used this ministry immensely to bring deliverance, salvation, and healing to many who had been oppressed by the devil in the areas mentioned. Alas, I can go on talking about the Honorable Justice Donald Graham Douglas, but I would just stop to say that Justice Donald Graham Douglas is also the head of a Christian family with a godly, cheerful, and warm-hearted wife and nine wonderful children. I hereby have the unique pleasure of presenting to you all the Chief Judge of River State, a legal giant, an erudite lawyer, the founder of the Judiciary Fellowship International, the founder of the Evangelistic Outreach, a man of God, and now our very special and beloved patron of Christ's own college, Port Harcourt, the man of whom the word of God has declared, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Yeah. He shall grow like a cedar right. in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Mm -hmm. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. I present to you, Honorable Justice Donald Graham.
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great staff and students of Christ College for Capos, I present to you our dearly beloved and respected Apostle Dr. Jukayo. He is a man who is a great instrument in the hands of the Lord. He has been used and is still being used by the Lord to turn many onto righteousness in many parts of Africa, including Kenya, his hometown, and Nigeria. He attended the government intermediate school in Kishi, Kenya. Thereafter, he obtained his higher certificate of education from the Highway Christian College in Hamilton, Ontario, in Canada. He went on to the University of, Bibli of Biblical Studies in Oklahoma in the United States of America, where he obtained his doctorate in theology and also a postgraduate diploma <laughs> and also a postgraduate diploma in pastoral education and chaplaincy. He obtained his doctorate in philosophy degree in missions in the United States of America from the Oasis College of Theology through Faith Bible College and Seminary. <clears throat> in his 35 years in the ministry, he has been used of the Lord to plant churches in Kenya in the following towns, Mombasa, <coughs> Kisimu, Nairobi, and Kerucho. These churches have now given birth to over 84 churches.
This message transformed many lives for Christ forever. This beloved preacher who describes himself as a simple man who believes in a great God is here in Port Harcourt for another full gospel businessmen fellowship international seminar crusade which will take place at the civic center from Monday 11th of May 1992. Before arriving in Port Harcourt he ministered in Jos and Yola and will be featuring in another program in Lagos on his way back to Kenya from Port Harcourt, from the Port Harcourt Crusade, which everyone is looking forward to with great expectations starting from today's program. Amen. Amen. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great staff and students of Christ College Port Harcourt, I have the singular honor and privilege to present to you this day, Friday 8th of May 1992, giving all the glory to God Almighty, Apostle Dr. Joe Kayo, Doctorate in Theology, PhD in Missions, Postgraduate Diploma in Pastoral Education and Chaplaincy, Commissioned Chaplain and Professional Christian Counselor, Church Founder, Author, Editor, and publisher of the Revival Digest as the patron of Christ College for Taco. And they that turn many to righteousness mm. as it starts forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, the scriptures cannot be broken. I stand on that very scripture that has come out from my lips. You told me you will create the fruit of my lips. Father, that is the scriptures I am standing upon. On behalf of Christ College, for this great man you have given to this world in his day and in our own generation that you will fulfill it in his life in Jesus' name. Amen. At this very moment from now and forth, new measure of anointing Amen. will come upon him. Amen. That you will surprise him more than ever before. Amen. That in a small place like this, that in answer to a prayer from a people who love him, who appreciate what you are doing through him to us, that he receives a fresh anointing Amen. that revolutionized his entire ministry for the rest of his life Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, this is what we are praying for. Mm. This is what we are believing for. Mm. This is what we are receiving on behalf of him Amen. and for the whole world in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, Holy Spirit, ride on in majesty. Amen. Take every fiber of his being and exalt your only son Jesus Christ in his life, in his ministry and the whole world in Jesus Thank you, name Father. Thank you Father We know that you have done it In Jesus name we pray Amen That are present in this gathering today um, Pastor Asalawe is a qualified architect and is a pastor on the Bitter Life Ministry Pastor Asalawe a beloved sister in the Lord. She's very energetic and very vibrant lawyer. And she's also the dean of the Faculty of Law of the University of Science and Technology for Tarko. And of course my humble self is uh, the third member of the Board of Governors that is present here today. Our principal, Mrs. Akiola, is also a member of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Akiola. And the other members that are absent, Dr. Merole is, out, is of sabbatical, is also of the University of Science and Technology, is um, an educationist in the Faculty of Technical and Science Education. 
and then also our brother uh, Felix Obulo is also out of town. These are the members of the board of Christ College for Traffic. Thank you. Sir.
you do? Praise the Lord. Your father or your mother 
It's not a theory. Your mother or your father is not a philosophy. He is somebody. He is somebody you can know. And we Christians are not supposed to know many things about Jesus. We are not supposed to know theories about him. We are supposed to know him.
and you meet chieftains and you meet great men, scientists, like I have, something tells you you are meeting great men. You go there and you are taught on how to walk, you are taught protocol, you are taught how to, how to catch the cup of tea, don't get drink the way you want to. You go out and you apply certain diplomas and sophistication and they shake hands and you bow and so on. After you leave that palace, you are the same person. <laughs> there is no change whatsoever. I have drunk tea with one of the queens in Africa. I have eaten lunch with a prince. I have taken meals with presidents and prayed for them. After I walk out of the big house, I'm the same Joseph guy. <laughs> but let me tell you something that happened to me in 1957. 19 what? How, how long do you think that is? Very long or? Very long. Thank you, children. 1957 February. I was dying. And I was taken to a, a crusade. Two nurses stole me from a hospital bed where a preacher had come, a priest, with his prayer book to pray for me so that I can die well and peacefully. Now when a doctor says you are dying, you are dying. But when a priest comes to, come to confirm you are dying, then you are dying. <laughs> and I was there dying, looking at the ceiling, saying, when will it come? Because the doctor said so. To confirm it, he has brought a priest to pray for me to die well. But two nurses in that hospital who believe that the Bible is true, these nurses, they had not just been Christian, nominal, attending church, but they knew Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They knew Jesus. They had met him. He had been introduced to them. They loved him, and they met him in a very special way. They stole me out of that bed. They put me in an ambulance. They took me to a big crusade of over 50,000 people in a big stadium and they left me at the back of the crusade right at the back they left me to die there they went back to the hospital with an empty ambulance because the ambulance was needed there the preacher preached like this Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever that is all he preached he said, if you call on that name, just call the name Jesus. Just say so. That's all you need. Call the name Jesus. He said so. And I heard him through the microphone and the loudspeaker. That is all I heard. That boy in me, Kyle, who was dying, inside me, the body was gone. The breath was there, but it could not call loud. But I was able to whisper, Jesus, that is all I did. I whispered, Jesus, that's all I did. That is all I did. I didn't pray much. I didn't do a lot. I did not do much repenting. Because... I did, not know, I did not know what to repent and what not to repent. I was a dying man anyway. So I called Jesus. That's all I did. When that happened, something supernatural happened to me. Some voice told me inside me, you are not going to die. You are going to live. And of course, I am alive today, you can see me. <laughs> After that, I recovered completely. I gave my life to Christ that night. 
just a skeleton covered with skin. Somebody held me up, took me to the nearest house from that crusade. And I said, Madam, I have just come from the crusade here, and I have been healed. She looked at me. She said, you have been healed. I said, yes, Madam, I have been healed. She gave me a place to lie down on a couch, and I lay there until the following day. The following day, I was able to stand on my own feet and walk back to the crusade three hours earlier before the crusade began. The fourth day of attending that crusade, I was completely well, and I have been well ever since. Today, as I stand here, there is not one pain in my neck, on my shoulder, in my bones. I am as healthy as a 35 years old man. Yeah. was not living. How did this miracle happen? Because I met Jesus. I was introduced to him. Children, I was very young then. If you can be introduced to Christ and accept him into your life, you can never live the same again. You will be a different person altogether. The world will look forward to a prince. The world will look forward to a princess. The world will look forward to somebody beautiful. The world will look forward to benefit. You must, first of all, know Jesus. Paul says, I know whom I have believed. Now, if you come and tell me, oh, Mr. Kyle, maybe you were deceived. I will tell you, no. I was not deceived because I know. You may tell me, well, it looks like you believe only. I say, no, I don't just believe. Before I believe, I know. I know whom I have believed. So knowledge and believing must go together. So children, if you seek to know Jesus, he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal himself to you. My son, three of them, they all accepted him when they were young. Younger than you all here, I think. They were very small. And one day I was preaching in the meeting and I said, all of you want to know Jesus today, come forward. And I saw my son in the middle of the people who had come forward to be born again. And I said, do these kids understand? I was mistaken. They understood. They were born again that day and they have never looked back to say, we are sorry we went to God. Two of them are now married. And I'm very happy. And they are still saved. Praise the Lord. So even his children, they can know God today. Amen. Now, secondly, you must be fully persuaded. How do we get to be fully persuaded? If we continue to know him. Because at the time of introduction, you just get introduced and you meet him. And of course, when you meet him, he changes your life. But there is so much more to be done in the knowledge of Christ. You must continue in the knowledge of him. And that knowledge can only be found in this book. Children, read this book. Study, learn it, memorize it, sing it, dream it. Let it be your sound. Let it be your guide. Let it be the map through this life. And you can never regret this book will introduce Jesus to you in a greater form. You know him, then you get persuaded. Not just persuaded, but fully persuaded. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you are persuaded, you are not at the mercy of those people who have arguments. When they argue, you have knowledge. When they argue, you know Jesus. Thirdly, you must be committed. I do believe that that's the hardest of them all. Commitment. Commitment is very essential. You have to be committed if you want to succeed in any area that you are engaged. If you children want to succeed in your college to study, you must be committed. Morally, mentally, physically, you must be committed. If you don't, you will fail. No matter how you are taught, no matter who is your teacher, if you are not 
committed, you will not succeed. In Christian life also, we must seek to be committed. And you, elder, parents, in our Christian life, we must be committed. You see, people come to me and say, Dr. Kyle, I hear when you pay for the sick, they get healed. I say, yes. Okay, quickly they bring their head. Put your hand on me and I will be healed. But these people, they want to heal of their body, but they don't want to commit that body to the service of God. They want to be healed so that they can go and do what they want. But if you commit your life, your body, your mind, when the children stand here, because I know who holds the future. Did you sing that? Yeah. Because I know who holds the future. Life is what they live living. Because Jesus lives. Jesus, he lives truly, but he can live in our hearts too. And when you know, and you are persuaded, and you are committed, nothing can hinder you from progressing. I am now going to pray two prayers. The first prayer is for those who have never known Christ. Now children, please stand and come closer to me. All of you. Come now. I know it is hot, but I'm not going to be long. Please come. Stand here. Or can we stand there so that he can become your personal savior and friend now? Then I will pray the prayer of commitment. Commitment to him. Commitment to excellence. Commitment to success. But all that comes as our personal commitment to him. Shall we bow our heads to him? Our Heavenly Father, everybody bow your head and close your eyes. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you today for this privilege of speaking your word to these dear children, to all these elders. I pray right now that if there be anyone here who does not know you yet in a very special manner, Jesus, I pray, such a one will come to meet you today. I pray, Father, by your Spirit, you will give a softness of heart, a repentant and a contrite spirit, that such a one will come to meet you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please keep bowing your heads as we pray. Now, next prayer is for commitment. Commitment. Each one of us needs to commit your life to Christ in a very special manner. And once we have committed it, we leave it there. Father, everybody hearing me today, in where demons can never come close. These special children and all these parents here, the members of staff, all these board of governors, members of the governing council, Jesus, each one of us today, afresh, we commit our lives into your mighty hand. Jesus, that you may use us even greater than ever before. I pray, my Father, for the parents of these dear children, if any of them does not know you yet, I pray that by the testimony of the children who know you, their parents will come to seek your favor. They will come to seek your forgiveness. Let these children shine so strongly in their home, in society. Jesus, I pray that they will become such a testimony and a burning light that you will be given all the glory and the praise. I thank you for them, and I thank you for the members of staff. Jesus, I thank you for the owner of this charlotte. 
I thank you for all people who support her, that you will help them and to make this a shining star even in the dark Nigeria. Make it an example, oh Lord, that from here there will shine a light to this state and to the whole country. I thank you, Father, that you have done it. The small thing you have begun, you will bring it to perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, family needs, even you kids in school, the needs you have, you may need intelligence. Maybe you are saying, I don't understand everything. I would love to understand better. You can also be in this prayer. If you have any needs, please. I'm going to pray right now for the needs of God's people. Lift your hand for the prayer for needs. Thank you. I'm going to pray now. Heavenly Father, for the needs of these people, for these wonderful children, you know them. Nothing is happening behind your back. You understand their pressure behind. You understand their tears and their fears. You understand, you understand the pain in the heart and the mind. And you know how they cry to you for help. So my father, in the name of your son Jesus, meet them at the point of their need. There isn't a need that is beyond you. You understand everything. And with you there is nothing impossible. Now I pray that you will meet these children and you will meet these dear people here whose needs are known before you. Meet them, our Father, and we will be very careful that we will give you all the glory and the praise as the answer is come to our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Before I return this meeting to the chairman, I want to say thank you very much. I want to give God all the glory and the praise. Pastors, thank you for coming. Thank you for praying for the success of this meeting. If there are any children here who don't know Jesus yet, please, I'd like you to ask Dr. Ibiama. Tell her, Madam, I would like to meet Jesus that our friend Dr. Kayo talks about. Or you can call me Uncle Joe if you want. Who? Uncle Joe. The children. Yeah. The children. <laughs> children. What's my name again? Uncle Joe. Yeah, thank you very much. No, don't call me Uncle Joe. Don't call me Uncle Joe. Tell her Jesus that Uncle Joe talked about. I want to meet him. And she will lead you in a very special way. In, a, in, in your way of understanding. And definitely you will know him. God bless you. Thank you. Chairman.
come forth from this institution. Hold the pillar of builders in thy kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Our yeah. Lord, we thank you that you will make this institution the best in the state. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nothing but the best. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Well, parents would come and say, look, we need help. We need help. We need help. We know you have the solution in this institution. Father, let it be so. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask for wisdom. We ask for knowledge. We ask for strength. Upon the, the serve of this institution. That they will pilot the affairs according to Broaden their vision. And bring your divine plan to fulfillment. That we shall go. And indeed it is your own handiwork. Whereby the glory will be ascribed unto you alone. Thank you so much Lord as we disperse. May your divine abiding presence, Lord, go with us mm -hmm. and ever remain with us. Yes, that thy glory will perpetually go with us yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We commit our speaker into your hands. But you have gone out of him, Lord. We ask for the double portion of the anointing. Refill him. Refill him. Yes. Renew his strength. Yes. Speedily, Lord. And give him more to dish out for the blessing of the body of Christ here in Father God. And for the generations yet for him to minister unto. Thank you so much for your goodness. For making him available unto us to bless us this afternoon. We thank you for the children. That this thank message you, will be so fresh. As they share it with their parents at home. Amen. Thank you so much for everyone that has been, has been involved in bringing this occasion to a success. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Thou, the Son of the Living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, divine Lord. Thank you, thank you for such a short notice. You did it again and again. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you.
get the voice. Hey, voice, Christ is the answer. That is good. Christ is the answer. Say that again. I can't hear you, everybody. Christ is the answer.